I'm Steve Wolf, stunt scientist, and today we're going to do a little fun with lasers. We're going to do some of this kind of James Bondy stuff. I've got a laser, and we're going to create what I call the laser web. I think your students are really going to enjoy this. Now, as a safety feature, most lasers have momentary on switches, which means that you can't lock them on. So you'll have to defeat the switch by pressing down on it with something, and then locking it in place with some tape, taping it all up there nice and tightly. Ah, come on, you little booger. There we go. We have now defeated the safety. Wah. Don't point that in your eyes. It's okay on video, though. It won't hurt you. So we've got that laser locked on. Then the first thing we'll do now is just point that laser at a spot in the room. And then we look at where that spot is and we're going to equip ourselves with this butyl gum, or you could use chewing gum. This comes, uh, I find this stuff at Home Depot in the um, air conditioning aisle where they sell stuff that's used for putting in air ducts, and they call it duct seal. It's really neat. It's just basically chewing gum, though. And we take the duct seal and we attach it to the back. These are just ordinary mirrors, regular dime store mirrors. Mirror, mirror on the wall. They both think I'm ugly. Eh, they're not so pretty themselves, though. All right, here we go. We've got a little bit of that butyl gum there, or duct seal, or even chewing gum. And we're going to go off in search of our first laser. So we've got a point over here where the laser is hitting the wall. Makes a nice bright spot there. And I'm going to put our first laser bouncer right here. You may call that thing a, a mirror, if you like. Let's see, I think it would be more interesting if we bounced it back this way, so. I'm now bouncing the laser off of this mirror to this spot over here. I'm chasing the laser around. And so I'm going to now take another mirror, put a little bit of sticky gum stuff here, and put this laser here. And that laser now is being bounced. Let's see where we want to aim that. That is being bounced. Oh, look at that. It's even moving around a little bit. Where is it? There it is. It is on our no smoking sign up there. There we go. Now, we'll tilt that down a little bit. We can point that one to the other side of the room. Pretty neat stuff here. So what we've got going on right now is a laser beam. It's coming out of here, hitting that mirror, bouncing off of there, hitting me right in the side of the head. <laughs> Doesn't hurt as long as you don't look at it bouncing into that mirror. That is bouncing off the sign up there, which is bouncing over to the mirror over there and bouncing back out the window. Now, if we want to see this laser even better, we could put a smoke machine in here and then we'd see little particles in the air being lit by the laser. Let me go find my smoke machine. Oh, got my smoke machine. Now, as an effects guy, of course, I have a little bit of advantage in the smoke machine department. This is the turbo fogger but you can get an ordinary little smoke machine for about 10 bucks at one of the Walmart type stores the day after Halloween. Or if you want to pay full price, 19.95 the rest of the year. They're not expensive. They just use a little bit of heat to turn a liquid into a gas to make smoke. I'm gonna fire up this bad boy right here though. Here we go. Now we've got the doors and windows open because we're running a gas appliance indoors, which isn't normally a great idea. If you don't have any type of smoke machine, you can see if you've got laser coming out by spraying a little bit of water with an atomizer. But check this out. 
If I hit this, look at that. We're going. We're bouncing. We're missing this one, huh? Let me see why. There we go. Hang on. Oh, wow. Look at that. We, we're making two, three. That's all of them. Look at that. So we're going out, up, across, back. You know what? I bet if we turn off the lights, we can get an even more amazing effect. Look at this. Oh, my God. I'm trapped in the web here. Dee Dee, the web of laser intrigue. Now, this means I guess I have to climb over this one and around. Oh, I almost broke the beam. Woo, that was close. All right. Anyway, this is how we do this effect in movies uh, to create that look of the impervious security system for protecting valuable diamonds. But I'm pretty sure your kids will enjoy doing this in the classroom. A uh, simple laser, smoke machine, some chewing gum and a few mirrors, and you got a really cool effect on your hands. For Doables, I'm Steve Wolf.